the was this? Where am I? Wait, you. You were in my chambers after ceremony. We were to... Where have you taken me? Why have you bound me so after our nuptials? If you wish for ransom or to strike some sort of bargain with my lord father, then explain yourself at once. I would not tolerate being treated so like... like some common animal. When I suggested to my father that we be wed, had I any inkling that you should be so craven as to bind me and steal me away, I would never have considered it. How could you? Was your charming demeanor and honeyed words not but a ruse, the entirety of our courtship? What? Read this. I cannot take it from you when my hands are bound, you know. <sighs> Very well. As you wish. Yet it would be easier were the candles and fires burning more brightly. This... This is our wedding contract. Why... What about it? Read... Read it again? I did read it. What do you mean I did not read it properly? I took great care with... Hmm? Fine... A fine print. What do you mean? The full contract? Well, I might have schemed a few parts, mayhaps, because I was foolishly and a little blindly enthusiastic for our wedding night, but I do not see... Fine. Fine. Do not glare at me so. I shall read it. Aloud? What do you mean, you wish me to read it aloud? Whatever for? You are teasing me, are you not? Having a jest at my expense? No. Some spouse you are turning out to be, taunting me on our wedding night. Unbelievable. Fine. Let us be done with this farce already. Where do you wish me to begin again? This bit at the bottom? <laughs> As you wish. I, Princess Amalina Merrillark, seventh daughter of King Imound of the Kingdom of the Golden Willow, do hereby promise myself to be a faithful wife and loyal p What is this? I do not remember this. What? No, I... I read the contract. I simply do not recall this part. Are you certain it was always written this way? I would know if you are lying. I am adept at enough magic to tell that much at the very least. Uh, well, no. I am not accusing you as... No, I'm not saying you're lying. I simply... <laughs> C continue reading. Yes. As you wish. Do... Hereby promise myself to be a faithful 
wife and loyal pet to be subservient and obedient in all ways to my loving spouse whom I have chosen of my own free will. So you are teasing me. What is this about? I have done no slights against you that would would warrant such such degradation, such mockery from you. Have I displeased you in any way? No. Then? What, what do you mean? You simply felt it upon our first meeting. Th that I would make a perfect pet for you? What is that supposed to... The way I looked at you. I do not remember anything in particular. You did seem quite charming that day, but I do not see how... Uh... My... My mannerism... What about them? I do not understand. Is it not polite to... What do you mean? I only answered to your wishes when you spoke and no one else's. Th that's, that's simply because I found you more attractive at the betrothal ball, is all. I had hoped to gain your good graces. I can do whatever I wish. What do you mean my ears are red? Uh, no. Do not touch them. They... <laughs> They're sensitive. Why must you torment me so? N no, it's not like I like it when you do it. It just caught me off guard, is all. Uh, my... You wish for me to show you my throat? Y yes, of course. Uh, what's this? It, it's heavy. My collar. En Enchanted for honesty? Y you think I would not be truthful otherwise? That's not true. I, I did. Do not. <sighs> You are right. I am... I am a poor liar. M my apologies. I should not be untruthful when I am the one who did not fully read the contract properly in my excitement to be your wife. I simply was overjoyed in the moment that you had accepted me. It's true, I did often stare at your hands and enjoyed when you spoke my title. It, it simply sounds different when you say it. Do not laugh. No, do not tease me, I beg of you. I... I do enjoy it when... when you touch my hair or, or 
the way the way you would hold your hand against my neck when you stroke it with your thumb or when you would tip my chin up so I would meet your gaze I did I did please do do not tease me over much for it my love uh, no I do not mind but w we are having a serious conversation and, and if you tease me so I I will not be able to focus <sighs> it, yes of course of course I would do whatever it is you ask I simply have not had such discussions before it is all so new to me a, a special word for when I am too overwhelmed I could think of one yes give me but a moment I would choose two one for if I need a small pause should I be unsure or have need of something but wish to continue and one for when I need to stop entire would that please you love then so be it. Knocks for if I need but a slight pause and for Mari should I wish to cease when I have need of it. <sighs> yes, of course. I, I will promise to be good and more honest with you from now on, my beloved. No, I... The color was surprising, but... It... It is very comfortable. I do not understand why, but... Something about it... Feels right. The weight of it settles the fears of my heart, somehow. Not unlike the warm weight of your palm against the nape of my neck. With that, I could always feel such comfort. Hmm? I, I may. You will leave it on? Always? Ah, thank you, my love. I yes, I promise I will be good. Please, do not take it off just yet. Allow me to enjoy it a moment longer. I beg you. Yes. I promise. I promise I'll be a good pet, my love. So please. Please touch my hair once more. I... If you wish, I... I would. I would also like it very much if you touch my ears once more. I if it pleases you, my beloved. <sighs> Thank you, Master. <sighs> 